In this video, I want to talk about the CRM portion of Infusionsoft. And CRM, again, stands for Customer Relationship Management. What that means is you can track your contacts and gives you a place online where all of the interactions and contact details for your list of contacts is in one location. So it becomes really, really helpful. I'm logged into Infusionsoft here, and what we're looking at is the dashboard. And this is uh, related to the CRM because it allows me to see things at a really quick glance about my business and my contacts. This is a demo account, and so there's not a whole lot going on here, but just know that on the dashboard I can show all of the important business metrics and, and stats that, that I need to see. As you can see here, sales, um, the, the number of contacts that I have, emails that I've sent out, those sorts of things. One specific one here is tasks that I'll get into in just a little bit, but basically it's telling me, hey, you need to take action, you need to do something. So I'm gonna jump into the main navigation up here. And what you're gonna see is under CRM, there is a contacts section. And I'm gonna click on that. And what you'll see is that it opens up a list of all of the contacts that I have. Uh, right now there's 36 of them. And I'm going to now click on new search. So what I'm able to do is start to filter down my contacts by what's their name, what's their address, where do they live, what sort of tags do they have, um, what sort of custom fields that we've created in the system do they have access to or do, they, uh, do we have on file for them. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm not gonna search by any, uh, any of those, I'm just gonna find a contact by name. Let's just say somebody called into my office, I can, I can just do a quick search by their name and find who they are. So let's just find this test contact and there it is, it brings up the contact that I'm looking for specifically. So this is where I wanna spend a lot of time here because this is, I think, the, the foundation of any CRM is being able to pull up contacts, see who they are, see what interactions that we've had with them, and make any additional notes or annotations about that person. Uh, so first thing you'll notice is there's some details about them that we can either see or update right here on the fly. So company, I can click this pencil icon and say, yep, there it is, Blick Digital and hit save and now this contact has one more piece of data about them that I know. Uh, the other important thing to notice is that there are a set of icons across the bottom here. This is where I think uh, the, the most helpful part of the CRM comes into play. I wanna go through a couple of these with you because I think they're really helpful. On the far left is notes. So over here you'll see kind of a running history of what notes we've had about that person and when that happened. Uh, if you're a, a solo company, this is gonna be helpful, but this becomes even more helpful if you have multiple uh, employees or contractors that are interacting with your clients and prospects, because now, as you can see, Brett, in this case, uh, he was the one to leave this note about a conversation they had, but then down the road, it might be John who had a conversation on a later date. And so what you're able to see is a running history of all the interactions that maybe employees or contractors would have taken with that particular contact. So really helpful information to have in the note section. Tasks kind of a similar thing here, where we can create tasks and also complete tasks. So you, you saw on my dashboard how I had that list of tasks uh, available to me. That's where this comes into play. So if I were to add a new task, I can just say, uh, need to send welcome pack, say it was a new client, and I could mark that as a due date of next week, and I'm gonna hit save. So now I've got a, a handful of tasks here related to this particular contact and I haven't completed any yet, so there aren't any completed tasks. The next section here is appointments. As it sounds, if you were to have an appointment, you could add it here, and all the information will be stored inside of Infusionsoft. There's also up here uh, a really uh, basic calendar as well that integrates with this appointment section. The next one is the emails, and by default, this is gonna show mostly your the emails that are getting sent out from Infusionsoft. So if you're sending out broadcast emails or if you're sending out uh, emails in a campaign, in, a, in an automated sequence, it'll show you a list of all those emails that were sent, what data was sent, and whether or not that person actually opened or clicked on the email. So really, really helpful information. There's also this section here where you can sync an email account. So if you're using Gmail, like your uh, Google apps, or if you have a Microsoft Outlook account, you'll be able to sync those emails as well. And what that means is any interactions that you're having through your normal uh, business day, those would sync back and you could also see 
uh, running email history against this contact. As you're starting to see all the interactions, it's building just basically a bigger profile for this particular contact. All the information, all the interactions, anything that has to do with this contact lives in this person's profile. Down here, I'll get into in a little bit, uh, this is the order section. So as you can see, we can do some quotes and orders and subscriptions even within Infusionsoft, and we will dive into that in just a little bit more. Tags is Infusionsoft's way of saying, who is this person? In other words, we can label our, all our contacts inside of our database with specific labels or tags. A really good example here is you might have a prospect tag, you might have a customer tag, you might even have like vendors or partner tags. And what that allows you to do is start to filter and create different segments and groups based on those tags. Now those are really high level, the example that I just gave, but you can also drill down specifically. If you're doing a lot of webinar campaigns, for example, you might have a tag that says, you know, this person registered for this webinar campaign on this date. This person actually attended, this person didn't attend. So you can get really specific on those tags and those segments. It becomes a really, really helpful tool. And we'll talk more about that down the road. I don't, I don't really want to talk about this one. Uh, it's not that helpful yet, but uh, campaigns is really helpful. This allows you to see, uh, we talk more uh, later about automation and the campaign builder, but you'll be able to see any active campaigns that a contact is a part of and any upcoming or recent campaign history that that person would have received. And so this becomes really helpful if you're trying to see, you know, where is this person? Let's just say you've got a, a three-part video series and on day one, they receive email one, video one, and then video two the next day, and then video three the next day. What I could see is after that first email was sent out, it would show up in this recent campaign history. And then on the upcoming campaign items, we would see that on the next two days, they're set to receive an email coming up. And I can force those through if they wanted to kind of move through that process faster, or I could cancel them if they said, you know, I really don't need these anymore. So there's lots of really cool things we can do here. Uh, opportunities. Uh, we'll get into it in just a little bit, and then scored in recent activity. So this one becomes really helpful. You can see up here that as of right now, I don't have any uh, orange flames. So by default, they're gray. And then when I start uh, taking action within the system, those flames will increase or decrease based on the criteria that I set up. So some criteria might be that I'm opening emails, that I'm clicking on emails, that I'm filling out specific forms, or that you know my users are applying specific tags to the contacts in my database. All of those things could mean that I'm getting more flames that I'm getting hotter basically. And those will show up right here. So again, more helpful if you've got a sales team, but if you do have a sales team, that could be really helpful because it'll start to show you, okay, this person is probably a lot more likely, they're a lot more engaged, therefore I'm gonna call them rather than this other person that hasn't really done much. He's got a lower flame score. So really cool uh, feature there for sales teams. The other one for sales teams, like I mentioned, was opportunities. So I wanna head there next. Within your CRM, you have um, these main record types. Contacts, which is the most common, that's what we're talking about right now. Companies, which is going to be, you know, if you do a lot, if you do more B2B type of, of uh, interactions and, and sales, then you might have a company with three or four contacts, the, you know, the CEO, maybe you have to deal with the finance person a lot, and maybe HR person. So all three of those people might be, they might live under that, uh, that one single company. Uh, under opportunities, this one, if you're from, if you're not familiar with the term, it's more deal centric. So if you are selling again with sales team and more of a uh, larger tickets where you have an actual sales process that you guide people through, your your sales team guides people through, then the opportunity record comes really becomes really important. What that allows you to do is track things like when will this deal close, and then you can report on that. Um, how much is this deal going to be worth? Maybe this is like a fifteen thousand dollar deal versus something else that's only like a ten thousand dollar deal. So you can again run some reports based on you know how how much uh, potential revenue is in our pipeline. So those are the sorts of things that you can track with the opportunities. And any opportunity inside Infusionsoft is still going to have a contact associated with them. It's just that your sales team will use the opportunity records more to be able to track their their sales pipeline. The referral partners is really helpful if you are doing a lot of joint venture type of things or uh, affiliate type relationships where you might have uh, someone that does a mail, an email blast for you and you want to be able to track any leads that he sent to you and then any sales that were generated from that. So what the referral partner section allows you to do is create those links, track that all the way through to the sale and then at the end of that sale you can actually cut a check to the referral partner saying, great, you know, you helped me generate uh, you know, 
three thousand dollars, and uh, as part of our as part of our deal, you know, I'm gonna I was gonna give you ten percent or whatever, and so here's your check. So it allows you to run campaigns that allow you to track all of that from from A to Z. These last two I'm not gonna get into because they're very rarely used, um, and we'll talk about Zapier a little bit more down the road. So uh, at a really again high level. A CRM allows you to track the interactions and contact details about a specific person, uh, creates a profile record for each person, and allows you to get into more uh, details about that person. So the last thing I want to jump into uh, with the CRM is I'm going to go back to the contact record because I want to start digging a little bit deeper on some of these things. So what I was looking at before you notice was just kind of a basic overview. It didn't have a whole lot of details like name, phone number, and email. It was basically it. Now what we can see is there's actually a whole lot more we can we can know about this person if we click into their record, including things like custom fields. You know, uh, what's their PayPal email address? As you can see here, what are you know just some non-standard fields that would be uh, more custom for my business that I would need to to know about. Um, this is the full record. You'll see a lot of overlap. So tasks we we've already talked about, notes we've already talked about recent email history, so it all lives in this main profile, but you can also view it from that, that kind of shortcut view that I was looking at earlier. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up here and, and uh, just point out that this is uh, one of the main features of Infusionsoft is that you have a lot of marketing functionality, you have a lot of e-commerce functionality, but when you marry that with the CRM so that all the data and interactions that your contacts are taking live against their profile, it becomes really, really helpful. And so I think that's one of the main selling points of Infusionsoft is that it isn't just a tool that does one or two of these things, but it brings them all into one. And so you've got a really complete picture about who this person is. I'll leave it there, and uh, hopefully this has been really helpful and beneficial for you, and we'll see you in the next video.